hey guys and welcome back to my channel today we are back with a new episode to our march madness lace series and today we'll be doing a bob uh, lace wig look and today's hair is provided by omg her hair i've worked with this company many times before and today um they sent over this ombre kinky straight wig and for those who are not really familiar with you know like what the kinky straight wig is um it's a wig that's um straight but it's more kinkier so it has more of a natural look to it so once you actually install it and then you um like press it out and everything it gives you like that really like natural leave out type of look like it looks very very realistic so today we'll be taking that bob and uh you know this bob wig which is about like a 14 inch um as far as length but we're going to transform it into a side part uh asymmetrical cut which is aka meaning a short um on one side and long on the other side bob now we're going to use shabby for this look today she has never done a bob before like never um and i realized that she never did a bob before so i said you know what it's been a minute since i've done a bob on my channel and since it's your first time let's just go ahead and do it so as you can see at the bottom left i have the unboxing you know of this wig so it came with a few goodies in the bag and i got straight into the installation part now i did go ahead and clean her skin with 99 percent alcohol and i also used the beautiful hustlers uh skin protectant and i sprayed her hairline with the protectant and i will be using the um newest and um improved formula of the lace melt adhesive the max lace melt max the maximum strength and this is the glue i will be using from now on as you guys know we had a sale already which was the buy one get one free sale so if you missed out i'm sorry but it is over and now we're getting ready to get our new shipment which will be here this week so i hope you guys are ready to make your purchases on march 14th which will be my actual birthday and we'll be having the new sale of this new release of this top tier quality so anyways um we're gonna go ahead and go in with three layers i only used three layers today and her wig was super melted super secure and i went ahead and applied all three layers um about half an inch onto the cap and the other onto her skin just a little bit past her hairline and now that that glue has turned clear i'm gonna go ahead and just begin to tack down my wig and as you will see in this video um she won't even really need to hold this wig at all and i know usually when i do this i have the clients hold each side but i would like to show you guys how strong this glue is so if you are doing your own installation and you don't have anyone to help you you will not need any help with this new and approved formula like your wig is going to be secure on its own once you place it down so as you can see it's stuck it didn't move it didn't lift and now i'm just going to go ahead and have her hold it down as i blow dry and you know hot comb everything into place and then tie it down with that melt belt so i hope you guys enjoy this video keep watching and stay tuned So now that that melt though has sat in and really secured that lace some more, we're gonna go ahead and begin to cut off the extra lace. Now for starters, I'm just gonna get those side tabs off that way the wig can lay completely flat around the ears. Now you can choose to do this after you glue, um, you know, everything, or you can, um, you know, cut the extra off the sides first and then glue everything down. Either way, it gives you the same results, but you know, just you know, whichever you prefer. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and get that extra lace from around the ears and then I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to cut the extra lace off using a very fresh lace glider and um, also on side um, of this wig it does have like those uh, sewed in scrap parts like you know the thick black square ones that you know you put in there for the elastic band um, yeah sometimes they can get in the way of the wig but if you need to you can just go ahead and cut those out that worry you know that way you don't have to worry about any irritation or anything like that but um, nevertheless now I'm going to go ahead and pull down everything that's not needed for her hairline and that's also not glued down and using a fresh uh, lace glider I'm going to go ahead and razor all of that extra lace off and it's just going to come off so easy so peasy because that razor is fresh and you can see we are giving the girls scalp so let's get into this sleigh honey because it's about to get serious. So because this is actually like a middle part wig, as far as the parting space, we're going to have to do her side part like higher up versus like a deep side part. So I'm going to, um, you know, just pull down the baby hair section for this side because the other side would just be like long and hanging in the face because it would be the longer side of the bob. But I'm just going to still do her a nice curved part. The parting is not going to be as low as I really wanted it to be, but we will still make it do with what we have. So I'm just going to still go ahead like I mentioned and create that curved part and just taking that wax stick and a hot comb I'm just going to sneak all of that down around the parting area to prepare for uh, the bob cut in the long run and then I'm also going to um, you know um, prep it for the baby hairs you know tie it down spray the lace and everything else like that so just keep watching
And now that we have all of that out of the way, I'm just going to go ahead and take some foundation and spray across the hairline and then spray it with the Iso Plus holding spray and just tie it down really quickly and let that dry and just cure in. But as you all oh, you know, you guys can already see it is a scalp situation. So we're just adding a little more, you know, extra on top of the milk that's already there. So now that we went ahead and removed that melt bell for the second time, I'm going to go ahead and before I even get into the cut, just slay the baby hair and, and get it out the way. And I will be using the got to be gel for the baby hairs, but y'all can see we are melted, honey. When I tell y'all this lace melt adhesive maximum strength is no joke. Okay, it is no joke. It is not to be played with after round with like... I am telling y'all, like, it is the S-H-I-T, for real. And it's just like, oh my God, it's just everything. Like, it's everything I needed to be, period. And um, I'm going to do a video later, you know, telling you guys exactly all the difference and everything. So, just wait for that as well. But I'll probably just explain it in, like, one of my next tutorials. But, baby this glue is not to be messed around with okay but right now i'm just going in with that got to be gel and i'm just doing three little smooth baby hairs of this look i would not be doing any baby hairs on the other side because she's just going to wear it in her face down and you don't even have to waste time or product you know slaying a side that's not even going to show so and that me just you know that's just me just being real but um after i get these baby hairs done i'm gonna go ahead and get into the cut and i did not do any special technique i didn't use no razor clips uh razor clippers i didn't use like razor comb i just literally went in with scissors and if you have a good like i don't know i don't want to say eye job but if you have like a good visual um and you can just do like clean cuts with scissors alone then do it if you can and you have to use uh, clippers do it if you have to use the razor comb first do it do whatever works best for you this just what um you know works best for me i use all techniques depending on the style the look if it's going to be you know more blunt if they want it more layer like it all depends it's a million and one ways to do different bobs and different bob looks but for this one i'm just going to take the scissors and just do a nice and clean cut so um like i mentioned it will still be asymmetrical so that means the side with that's pushed back is going to be shorter and then this part in the front is going to be longer and to be honest when i'm doing asymmetrical cuts i like to cut the longer side first and then i work my way over to the shorter side so i'm going to start by cutting the front in an angle 
So you guys will see exactly, ooh, it just looks so good already. But you guys will see exactly what I mean. I'm going to start by cutting the front part and the angle first, and then I will make the sides and the back of that cut match everything else. So just keep watching how I'm doing it, and you guys will get a nice understanding. So as I mentioned, I said I start cutting, cutting from the longer side first. So once I get the perfect angle um, on the longer side and I reach the desired shortness, that's when I just go ahead and blunt the cut the rest of the way all around. And you just want to take your time, make sure you are grabbing all of that hair. That's why I make sure I have my hand underneath all of the tracks or whatever. And I just match that um, guideline cut all the way around. So that's just pretty much what I'm going to do until I get all the way to the other side. And here was the finishing look after I finished cutting. Nice and cute, nice and blunt. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and go on with the uh, big flat iron and just, you know, go ahead and get that, you know, slightly bumped, not too much, because I still wanted to keep it pretty straight, but you know, just curved enough to give the bob a look. So I'm just gonna go on with my Infinity Pro flat iron, which you can purchase at Walgreens or Walmart. It's about 40 bucks at most. Gets really, really hot, 450. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, just go ahead and press those, not really press it, but you know, press it, but give it like a slight bump underneath all the way around. So now that the bob is all pressed out, I just like to go in and just, you know, make sure it's perfect, pretty much laid to, you know, to perfection. You can wear it above the ear. You can push it back, wear it all behind your ear. It's up to you. Is your preference. Is that, well, technically it's your client's preference, but 
um, whether they want to wear it regular or behind the ear. So once you get that final desired look, you can go ahead and conceal your part. So I'm definitely just going to go in with some concealer, um, you know, um, what you call it, conceal the part, making sure it's nice and curved and clean. Because right now it's giving very dull. But once I go in with that foundation and conceal that part with that angle brush, it's going to pop, you know, even more. And then, of course, um, we're going to end up pulling that side behind her ear. But for the most part, this is the completed look. Um, just stay tuned for the very, very grand finale finish. And let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about this Bob look overall. Um, if you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe. Turn on your bells. Turn on every notification um, on my socials as well because I do post about the restocks and everything there. Even in the community section here on YouTube, I post it. So just make sure your bells are on. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment and let me know your thoughts down below. And, you know, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this look. And stay tuned for more videos because we will have some back-to-back -back uploads. So, thank you guys for tuning in. And see you next time.